Imagine this, you're woken suddenly with a pain in your chest. The pain's really intense and you're finding it hard to breathe. Fast forward past the panic trip local, past the trip in the ambulance and down the hallway of fluorescent lights you get rolled under, just like in the TV shows. You end up in an operating theatre where these nurses are introducing themselves as Ben, Junko and Jasmine as they stick dots on your chest and attach tubes. And there's a doctor nearby explaining something about a coronary angiogram. The next day, you probably won't remember their names, but Ben, Junko and Jasmine don't care that you don't remember their name. They care that they're part of the team that help save your life and that you get to go home and hug your kids again. Something else you may not remember is that the angiogram use x-rays to see the narrowing in your artery causing your heart attack. And since these nurses were right there by your side during the procedure, they're also exposed to x-rays. And because they stand beside every patient every day, they have an increased risk of developing cancer, cardiovascular disease and DNA damage. They're also over three times more likely than you to develop eye cataracts. This is not okay. We need to better protect those who protect us. My research identifies which factors lead to higher staff doses. And with the data I've collected from over 2000 cases, I've determined that both staff height and patient BMI affect dose levels. But the most alarming finding is that the dose to the nurses is double that of the doctors. I'll let that sink in for a sec. The nurse receives twice the amount of radiation as the doctor does. This is really concerning given nurses are involved in more x-ray procedures than doctors, but also because often nurses aren't informed about the very real risk of radiation exposure. I'm using the results of my research to change the way we work, especially improving staff access to protective equipment, but also to educate nurses about the invisible risk they face every day. And while I'm grateful that my research has already reduced the risk of cancer, cataracts, vascular and DNA damage to Ben, Junko, Jasmine or any of their colleagues, my goal is to make workplaces safer for the well over 100,000 nurses like this worldwide so that we will better protect those who protect us.